Yo guys, what's up? Connor Sullivan here. I'm just gonna talk straight up in this video about my five best experiences that I've had in Germany. This is gonna be for the OG fans who have been there since day one and for new people who wanna know about Germany, maybe study abroad, maybe just visit. Number one top experience that I've ever had in Germany, as you guys know if you started watching my videos in April of 2017, I moved to Germany to play American football. That was the entire reason why I went to Germany. I didn't know much about it before I went there to play American football. I played college football right here at USC in LA and I wanted to continue my education on the field in a foreign country to hopefully see the world and get paid on the side. And there were many countries around the world that wanted me to play quarterback for them. I talked to people in France, I talked to people in Brazil, there was even a team in Egypt that wanted me to play quarterback, but ultimately I settled in Germany for a few reasons. One of the reasons being that it's the top football league outside of North America behind the NFL and Canada. Plus, it's right in the middle of Europe, so I was like, I could travel the entire European continent while I play football. So that's the reason I went to Germany. I played 15 games around the country, ate some crazy foods, and had experiences of a lifetime, pretty much expanding my mind outside of what I knew life to be in Southern California, because all I had known is living in LA for my whole life, pretty much. And when I went to Germany, it just expanded my mind, and I'm very thankful to the German people for welcoming me into their country. I didn't know anything, man. I didn't know that the grocery stores were closed on Sunday. I didn't know that you had to wait at that little red man at the crosswalk to be a good example to the young kinders. There's just so many good things that came from me playing football in Germany, and honestly, it started my YouTube career, and that brings me to number two best experiences that I've had in Germany it has to do with the football, foosball, soccer fan culture. And if you're an American and you go overseas, Try to call soccer football because some people do get offended. But also, the Europeans should understand that as an American, it's called soccer, literally. It's called soccer. But yeah, football is the more politically correct term around the world, and if you're in Germany, it's called foosball. I went to this game my second or third week in the country because a subscriber had told me, yo, you gotta go to this derby. I didn't know what a derby was, but now I understand that a derby is a clash between two rival teams, and the rival that was in my city, Stuttgart, was playing KSC. I went into the state stadium of this game not knowing what was happening I didn't know that it was such a crazy rivalry because in the States we have rivalries but like the fans don't have to be put into cages and in this game they're legitimately in a caged off section of the stadium if you're a rival fan you're in a caged off section of the home team stadium right so I buy a scalp ticket I go into the caged off section of the home team stadium and I witness these crazy hooligans, or ultras as they're called in Germany, throw fire onto the field, and I absolutely loved it, because I love anything that has to do with like hype situations where people have emotion, and this was definitely a hype situation, and people had emotion. Yelling at each other back and forth, throwing fire onto the field, and that was a crazy experience. If you wanna see the full video of that, link is in the description below. Every single video that I talk about, or experience that I talk about, will probably have a video link, so I will link them all below in the top comment. But yeah, the second, most or best experience that I've had in Germany is just having to do with the soccer culture. Starting off with that game, and then I've gone to a lot of other games. I've been to Bayern Munich BVB in Munich. That was insane. I went to a DTM race, which is like race car driving in Germany, Hockenheim Ring, and I actually got the opportunity to go inside of a German race car and go over 200 miles an hour. That was insane. I thought I was gonna hit the wall and crash, but I kinda trusted the driver enough knowing that Germans are very good at driving. Their cars are well known around the world, and it was awesome just to be inside one on a race car track. So that was crazy. Okay, that brings me to the third best experience that I've had in Germany. I had the privilege of filming a television show in Germany, and this is crazy. After I had been playing football in Germany, and after that soccer video went viral in Germany, a a network in Germany called ProZeben contacted me and said, hey, would you like to do one episode on our television network about an American in Germany just experiencing the new culture? I said, absolutely, I'm making videos like that already, so let's do this. At the same time that I was filming this TV show, I had a friend named Silas who also played football in Germany, who also had a YouTube channel. So during the first episode, we met up with him, they liked our chemistry together, and they said at the end of the filming, hey, maybe we can do something more with you two guys. Being somebody who has always had the dream to have my own television show, ever since I've watched Anthony Bourdain and Rick Steves, I decided to make a television show trailer and pitch it to ProZeben, which they bought. My name is Connor Sullivan. Is good? I'm an American living in Germany. How did I get here? This is my story in 30 seconds. I was born and raised in the United States, California to be exact, an athlete since birth. At and they ordered 20 episodes of me and Silas traveling all around Germany, experiencing the culture. And that was, 
probably the most insane thing. Now that I'm talking about it, that might be the number one best experience that I've had, but it's definitely top three. They took us all over the entire country and we got to do things that most Germans don't even get to do. We went to Bavaria, they bought us authentic Lederhosen, $2,000 Lederhosen made of deer leather. I mean, look at this picture. I look good. <laughs> yeah, I can't lie. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is $2,000 Lederhosen. I was in the full Bavarian dress. We went to festivals together. They took us to Hamburg, Cologne for Carnival. We went to Mallorca, which is considered the 17th state of Germany. It's kind of like a party island. That was amazing. And then we went to the opposite. We went to Silt, which is a very bougie island for rich people in Germany. And we had a great time there, too. So we got to do some insane things with this television show. All the episodes, actually, that aired on ProZeeb and Taff are linked below. The full episodes that showed on TV, they posted them on YouTube for your viewing pleasure, and if you want to see them, those are below. So that's my third best experience in Germany. Fourth best experience is kind of a general term, and I don't mean this in any disrespect to German people, because it is kind of a cliche, but the festivals in Germany are unbelievable. Starting with Oktoberfest, that's probably the most well-known worldwide. How do I say this? Germans, they work hard, and they play hard, and I respect that about them. They can go to work nine to five, do what they gotta do, and then when it comes time to have an off day or an off weekend, they party hard, and they enjoy themselves. It's like a celebration of life, dude. They have music, they got the beer, they got the food, the chicken, the bratwurst, whatever you wanna eat, and it's an amazing experience. Personally, I've been to Oktoberfest twice. Both times, incredible. I've been to this place called the Kanstadt Vasen Frühlingsfest, but you don't have to go to any specific festival, just go to a beer garden on a Friday or Saturday and just enjoy the music and talk with your friends. I will say, the leader beers, they'll get you. If you're not used to them, they'll get you. I'm fucked. Last but not least, the fifth best experience that I've had in Germany is just having home cooked meals in a German household. There have been multiple occasions where friends of mine that I made over my time in Germany have invited me in and said my mom is cooking a traditional Bavarian dish or a traditional Kölsch dish. And those are some of my favorite times because you just get to sit in a German household and have face to face conversation, share a beer. Honestly the people that I met in Germany are the reason why the country is special to me. So anytime that I have the opportunity to be in someone's home, eating their home cooked meal, sharing a beer with them, that is what makes you know a place special. And that's what made Germany special to me because I met some incredible families, some incredible kids, just people that are so welcoming and you wouldn't otherwise know how welcoming these people are unless you're in their home and you see the hospitality that they greet you with and that's part of the beauty of staying in a country longer than just a week or two. Being able to stay in Germany for over a year during the past two years, I would come back to the States sometimes, but I stayed in Germany over a year in the past two years and I really got to get an idea of the culture, so I'm just gonna end with this. Germans are softer than they appear. They have this tough outer shell and it's like, like a little barrier, you know, and you have to chip away and, and gain their trust. But once you break through it, dude, Germans are some of the most hospitable, kind, nice people in the entire world. Now, I'm not sure if they want to have this um, veneer. I don't think Germans are mean, but sometimes people have like this stereotype that Germans are mean and just like, uh, uh, which they're not. They're actually very soft. They're like kinder chocolate. You just have to break the case and uh, get to their insides. Mm -hmm.